A mysterious object falls out of the sky and washes ashore onto a beach in Australia. Some experts believe it could be space junk. Right now, the Australian Space Agency is reaching out to other space agencies to identify this object, find out exactly where it came from. It's the cylind cylindrical shape. It's about the size of a small car. appears to be partly made of some type of woven material. Also, as you can see, covered in barnacles. So joining me now is Avi Loeb, professor of science at Harvard and former chair of Harvard's Department of Astronomy. Avi, thank you so much for your time. Based on the images uh, that you've seen, what do you think Think this is? Well, it may well be a part of a, a rocket that was launched to space. And uh, there are various conjectures. Perhaps uh, India's uh, rocket launch uh, resulted in it. And uh, it should be easy to figure it out based on an examination of uh, what's inside. And uh, it's nice that, uh, you know, we can recover uh, debris from uh, space launches. And, you know, it's very likely human made. All right. So, Professor, as we see this, obviously this uh, appears to have come off of something larger, uh, you know, possibly something from India's uh, space agency there. But authorities right now saying there is no risk to the community. But would you feel comfortable if you lived in the area, knowing at one time this was attached to something else? We don't know if there were chemicals or, or other things that were part of that. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much because the chance that it would hit any particular home uh, is probably less than uh, asteroids. You know, we have meteors uh, uh, colliding with Earth all the time. Uh, a meter scale meteor or two meter scale meteor collides with Earth uh, once a year and uh, generates as much as the Hiroshima atomic bomb energy that happens usually 30, 40 kilometers high up in the atmosphere, so it doesn't cause any damage. But rocks uh, keep raining on Earth all the time. Um, we should not be too worried about the uh, human-made uh, objects because they are even rarer than that. Uh, unless, of course, we start launching tens of thousands of uh, pieces of equipment uh, every year, because then we will have a higher chance of damages. You have to also realize that 71% of the Earth's uh, surface is covered with oceans. So most of the time, these things would land in the ocean, as it happened in this case. Yeah, so we have space junk potentially falling out of the sky. We have uh, plate emergency landing slides falling out of the sky here in Chicago. Uh, Professor, I know you like to base things on science, but based on what you can see, how long do you think this could have been in the ocean before it finally washed up? Uh, it may be a matter of uh, years. That would be my guess. Uh, at most. Uh, it could be just months, but uh, most likely not more than a few years. All right. And my last question for you, uh, only about 20 seconds left. How common is it for this type of space junk uh, to, to be end up to end up in the oceans like that? Um, I think it's very rare. I mean, it basically depends on how many launches humans make uh, every year of commercial uh, satellites or um, sometimes uh, bigger rockets. And uh, they will become more frequent as we launch more communication satellites as uh, SpaceX plans to do that. Tens of thousands of them. So we just need to be ready. Those will have also a finite lifetime. And the hope is they will burn up in the atmosphere, but some will get to the to, to the ground. And we just need to be aware of this risk. Yes, we do. All right, Professor Loeb, always great to speak with you. Have a wonderful day and thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.